Hello friends, today I want to share with you the initial results of our bladder fulguration for chronic urinary tract infection. Uh, I promised everyone to share the results at 10th of January, which I was expecting to have the answers for 50 ladies, but uh, there are people uh, who are not responding quickly, maybe they are waiting for some better results, maybe uh, they don't want to answer the questions. So we have the answers of 36 ladies now, and I will share with you the results. Uh, <laughs> initially, I had to say, it is the result is not 100% success. I was expecting more and more better results, but uh, they are enough. I, nowadays, I understand that it will take a little more time for us to see the better results. Uh, when I talk to my previous patients, they say so. So, uh, to say the last sentence as a first sentence, you see, this is the question number eight. Uh, asking please give an overall rating of the severity of your urinary tract infection symptoms as they were before the operation and uh, here we see uh, nearly 70% uh, of the cases said it is severe uh, and nearly 30% of the cases said it is moderate uh, and after the procedure when we ask at three months as you see here, 36 is the number of answers. Uh, I, as I said, I was expecting it to be 50, uh, but we need some more time. And uh, I will send this questionnaire again and again to see the result at six months, at one year, uh, and we will see the changes. So the, the severe symptoms uh, decreased from 70% to 16.7% uh, here. And the moderate symptoms uh, still seem to be the same, like 28%. Uh, so overall, we, if we summarize, if we, if we uh, add this to each other, the sum is 44% of the patients are still struggling with severe or moderate symptoms at three months after the procedure. But uh, we, as you see here, there is no... Uh, people with mild or no symptoms at all, very less, maybe one person, but now here there's 55% of the patients uh, are symptom free or they have mild symptoms that are very tolerable at three months. Uh, I recently recognized that it is really very early to have the results, to ask for the results at three months. It will obviously need more time, but eventually I hope, I think uh, the results will be better than uh, most of the people think. And I 100% uh, uh, confident with this, uh, with this uh, uh, end, with this uh, results. So there will be success at the end eventually. Maybe not for all. Uh, and I have some clues about those who will have uh, who are not responding very well uh, and every day we are working on this subject and trying to understand why some people are not mm -hmm. responding this procedure so uh, when we more the, when we investigate the results in more detail we see that this is our questionnaire well, it takes some time let me this is the questionnaire and when I touch to answers button answers are coming yeah here we have 36 results and it is updated by every every result sent to me and you can see here the average ages and we have many questions like Alcohol consum consumption, are your symptoms related with intercourse? Did your symptoms begin with intercourse? And uh, we ask, this is the first question, please indicate whether you have had the following symptoms before the procedure, before the operation, and how severe they were. The question is frequency of the urination. As you see, many people a complaint about this 40% severe and nearly 40% said moderate and uh, this is urgency of urination a little less than frequency but still a, a significant complaint pain or burning when passing urine it's half half of the patients complained about this 
and not being uh, able to empty your bladder uh, more than half and pain or uncomfortable pressure. This is the most commonly uh, present complaint in our patients. They are suffering from this and it is, as you see, nearly more than 80%, nearly 85% of the patients complain about this. Low back pain, blood in urine is not an issue, too much issue. So the second question is, if you have experienced these symptoms before operation, please indicate how bothersome they were. So they, the same questions and they answer how bothersome, how their life affected from this disease. The answers came like this. And uh, blood in urine. If you have experienced these symptoms after operation until uh, now, please indicate how bothersome they were. So here the questions about frequency after the procedure, as you see, there is still significant amount of people say it's like 14% uh, say severe and 22% say it's moderate uh, and urgency and pain and not being able to empty the bladder. Pain or uncomfortable pressure in the lower abdomen, uh, which is one of the most important questions. Still, some of the patients complain about this after the three months. And I, am, I know that there are ladies who uh, six months or more passed after the procedure and some of them still have this. And this is the uh, first picture I show you. Please give an overall rating of the severity of your urinary tract infection. Still like 44% of the patients are struggling with the results. Uh, but uh, like 16, 17% of them is severe but the others are uh, saying it to be moderate. Okay, so there are questions like, before the intervention in general, would you say your health is poor is the purple one, fair is the green one? You see the poor is very, very big, like 50% of the patients, and it is 20% now. Uh, so there is a significant improvement, we can say. Uh, before the intervention, moderate activities such as moving a table, pushing a vacuum cleaner, bowling, playable, such, such, and uh, the no, not limited at all is the most commonly given answer. Limited a little is the red one. Here you see, uh, not, not limited at all answer increased significantly. And uh, climbing several uh, f flights of stairs, it increased. And uh, before the inverse intervention accomplished less than you would like, yes, like 80%, 83% say this one, and it reduced to half of the group. Uh, so half of the group is now accomplishing as they want. And uh, limited in kind of work or other activities, like 90% said they are limited. Now it's uh, the half of them uh, get free of this. And before the accomplish less than you would like, yes, again, very much, now half. So, as you see here, there are many questions like that in our questionnaire. Uh, and before the intervention during a week, how much did pain interfere with your normal work? Is extreme and quite a bit answers. Now extreme decreased to half and quite a bit decreased more than half. Uh, no symptom at all, like 30% of the cases, 31% says not at all, and a little bit. So nearly half of the patients, more than half, is doing better with the procedure at three months. And uh, such questions, energy, yes, and uh, before the intervention, have you felt downhearted and blue? All of the time, like 40%, now it is 11%. Uh, as our procedure, uh, as we continue to do it more and more, I am investigating this more and more, and we are now seeing that this procedure works. Uh, I was confident it, with it with my previous patients in Turkey, but uh, I didn't follow them as I follow the patients from abroad, and... Nowadays, recently, I am understanding more clearly that we need time. The time is the most important uh, activity we can do, the most important concern. 
just waiting with uh, patience. It will be better and better with the body healing uh, by time. So uh, who were the worst responders? As far as I see, my first comments are those who have the disease for a very long time, has their bladder inflamed more than others. The inflammation first goes from uh, trigon. Uh, it goes from trigon to uh, opposite wall of the bladder, which is coming in contact with the bladder when the bladder empties. So the infection in the trigon area passes into opposite wall first. Then it is spread to the side walls of the bladder. And when all of the bladder walls are affected, it becomes uh, bleeding happens during the procedure. If there is bleeding in the walls of the bladder or if there are cracks in the bladder mucosa, tears in the bladder mucosa, the response comes a little late. Uh, we are improving the procedure every day. We are trying to find new solutions for this, but we still need some time. Uh, I can say some of the patients will heal very quickly. Uh, those are the ones who do not have the disease for a long time, who did not use several therapies for this for a long time. Uh, their bladders are more healthy, and if the disease in only in trigon, they react respond very fastly. But if the disease affected all bladder mucosas, I hope there will be some hope for them too because we destroy the source of the disease, the bed of the disease, and the rest of the bladder, I hope, will heal by time by itself. So th these are all I can say now. I will try to give and update the results when they come more and more results. Uh, thank you for, for watching. Bye-bye.